Let's talk about a few ways that you can create a new opportunity inside of Salesforce. So I'm in my sales application inside of Salesforce and I've selected the opportunities tab. You can create a new opportunity from the opportunities tab by just clicking new from any of the various list views available for the opportunities tab. And then you'll have an option if you have record types in your Salesforce org, which I have three different record types here in this particular instance of software development, installation, and then one aptly named or unfortunately named record type. It could be kind of confusing. I'm not sure why we have a record type called record type, but we do. And so from there, once you select the record type for your opportunity, you can click next. Now notice that you don't have an account name specified here. It is not required. You can actually enter in an opportunity without an account account filled in. I'll show you that here momentarily. But you do want to be sure that you fill in all the required fields. Now amount would be the total amount of the expected revenue that you'll realize from this opportunity if you end up closing it and winning it. Now you want to specify an anticipated close date. I'm just going to put the end of this particular month and then also required as denoted by these red asterisks are the type which would be the type of customer. This could be potentially a new customer or an existing one. And the stage would be where are we at as far as this journey towards closing this deal as closed one. And these are kind of listed in order in my own org here. This may differ in the org that you're in. But I'm going to start off with prospecting. You see the probability updates automatically. If I change that to a different stage, such as needs analysis, that bumps up to 20%. And then that looks like all of the different required fields there. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And we have an example opportunity here. We have this as the current stage here in the cell path and notice that there's no account associated with this opportunity. Now, another way that you can create a new opportunity and fill in the account information for it is to enter in a new opportunity from an account. So I'm going to go to an account record and then you want to go to the related list for opportunities and you'll notice here that I've got a full screen display. Yours may differ but you may need to look for your related tab but here are my different related lists and so I'm going to click on that to go down to opportunities. I can scroll down and you'll see my different related lists here for contacts, opportunities, cases, and these are related records to the account that I'm on. So I can click on new and that'll pop up the same record type modal or pop-up window. I'm going to select software development for my record type for my opportunity. And now you'll notice that the account name has been populated for me. So now it's just a matter of entering in the information and then we will have that opportunity associated with Greer 122 Inc. here. So I'm going to fill in the required fields here and select a stage. I'm going to select value proposition. You notice this is at 50% and all of this is customizable on the back end and then I'll leave everything else blank that's not required and click save and so now we have a new opportunity that populates on the related list for the account we can go in there and see the details of that the sales path of the current stage as well and so that is a couple of ways that you can create opportunities another way rather than going through an individual application would be to view all from under the app launcher and under all items looking for opportunity and that will take you to an opportunities tab regardless of what application you're inside of and you could then go and click new as well. So just remember that if you're wanting account information populated I recommend that you go from the account go to the related list for opportunities and then click new from there to populate that associated account with the opportunity. That's the creation of opportunities inside of Salesforce. If you found the Salesforce video helpful, please do like and subscribe. Also comment down below what you'd like to learn next in Salesforce and I just might make it my next video. And until then, I'll see you in the cloud.